guys, the good news is we got the flat. The bad news is we've got three days instead of 12 days to pack up our shit and get in there. So <laughs> that's what this video is gonna be today. I'm not gonna lie, I've been procrastinating. I've put on my gym clothes <laughs> to get in the spirit. I put pink on because you guys said that the pink looked good on me in the last vlog. So I was like, I'm gonna wear more pink. And I just got these shorts recently from Honor Active. I'm sorry, but look how good they make your bum look. I've just made myself some avo toast to like get the motivation to do this. I'm going to put a podcast on. And the first thing I'm going to do is start clearing out clothes that I want to keep, sell and donate. There's a donation bin downstairs where the bin area is, which I'm so grateful for right now. So I'm going to get that done today if that's the only thing I do. Thankfully, there's not that much in this flat. Most of my stuff is still in storage. So all I have to worry about right now is getting this stuff sorted and getting my bed from storage and then we can deal with the rest of it another day because we've literally got three days because on the 29th I'm going to London and I need to be out of here by the 30th but I have to go to London for like work events I'm gonna thank myself for this later cheers mm -mm -mm. more bags packed to go down i'm so happy that seven bags filled out to yeah. the point that they can't say well it's so good and then yeah this is some of my clothes that i'm taking with me but a lot of that is like big jackets so and this one's not completely full um so that's good oh that's pretty zoomed in guys look at the state of me I'm not gonna lie, I am taking a day off. I am exhausted, I'm PMSing pretty hard. Um, and also, I don't know what's going on. They're still taking ages to confirm anything with us for the new flat. So I have asked my current landlord if I can stay an extra week just because tomorrow I've got to go to an event in Manchester and then straight from Manchester to London and then go to an event in London and then come back to Manchester because I thought I'd have to move out on the 30th. But I was just like, I can't, it's just too much. And I still have no confirmation. We still don't have the keys. It's literally the 28th today. Um, so I'm just gonna have a day off because I don't wanna be all like stressed and and, like pent up tomorrow when I've got so much to do so I just took Bronson out for a little walk and I'm gonna take myself to the gym because that's like the one thing that just takes my mind off of everything like releases the endorphins just gives me some stress relief and I know I'll feel better I'll sleep better I've been having the worst sleep at the moment as well so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take myself to the gym today I'm just gonna wear my blacked out gym fit go train and then just chill out do a few bits and bobs here and there but like not stress yeah I'm gonna put Bronson to bed come here come here Oh, he's 
like a cat. He's such a cat dog. You're tired. You nearly fell over just then. You little wobbly. My little wobbly wobbly goo. He's been chewing on my uh, resistance band, so that's good. But... <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to the gym. Not sure if I'll film it. I might try with my phone. Bit awkward, but I just can't do anything else today. I'm so tired. Right, I'm thinking. I don't even know if you guys can. Oh, you can still see me. It's pretty wide. I'm gonna do my pre-workout before I leave. Instead of what's it called? Dry scooping it because I just can't hack it anymore at the moment. It isn't very aesthetic, is it? But you know, we move. But yes, I need pre-workout. It's a lower body day today, so I have not been on my fitness game lately, which is kind of annoying because I lose my progress so quickly. So. Yeah, hopefully once we've moved, I'm saying we're getting this flat, who knows at this point, there's an, a really, really amazing gym in that flat. So, I'll be much more likely to be so consistent because it's just there. I got this little snazzy whisker <laughs> to mix this up so it's not so grainy. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it will make it a little bit more aesthetic. No, I'm joking. Oh, that's very powerful. You guys, this pre-workout, I oh, can't even show you, it's such a beautiful color. Probably get questions. It is the Woman's Best Blueberry Acai. I don't usually like pre-workout, but this doesn't taste too shabby, I'll tell you that. Oh, look at the state of me. <laughs> it's cold, okay? If I've got a dress crazy, I'm a dress crazy. I don't care, I am cold. Oh my God, that mixes it so much better. My dog is insane. One thing I'm definitely gonna miss from this apartment is when we get good sunsets. And this doesn't even show you like how good this actually looks. since I've dyed it red and cut it. I don't know, so I thought I would uh, take a look and see. God, I look rough. I just forced myself to make a quick meal and I've actually made one of my favorite quick recipes that I kind of just randomly made a while back and I've stuck to it. I've made a very simplified version of it today because I am tired. Oh, I thought the lighting would be bad, but it's not that bad. Can you see this dog? You're putting your paw on me. You're not allowed any. But it's basically just bulgur wheat, tofu, and tomato and cucumber salad right now. Usually I throw in a few more things, but it's delicious like this. And I will show you guys how to make this once we've moved. I kind of wanted to a little bit today, but I'm just, I'm so tired and lazy. And I know I've got a lot on tomorrow, so. Mmm. It's just so good and so quick and easy to make. I wanted to make this because I didn't want to order and I wanted it to be healthy. I'm getting loads of protein in with the tofu, especially after the gym workout, which killed me, by the way. So basically, I don't want to do anything for the rest of the evening. Oh, my memory's running out. Okay, one sec. Okay, wow, I've just put in a new memory card and it says it's got 10 hours worth of filming. So 
perfect for uh, for me because I just don't know when to delete stuff. But basically, all I want to do right now is just chill the bug out. It is 20 past 8. No, it's 8 past 8. 20.08. Wow. I think I'm going to watch a movie. Hopefully I'll be able to stay awake. I'm thinking I'm going to watch another Sky Cinema movie because there's one that I really want to watch with um, Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg in. I love the two of them and I think the two of them together could be really funny. I might even climb in bed and watch it. Okay guys, Brunson and I are in bed. Got myself a little treat, a little snack. I'm ready to watch a movie. Finally, they get in the keys. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm not even in the mood to vlog, really, but I'm gonna vlog it because I want to show you guys. Friday is key collection day. It's key collection day. I look like a bean. You look sexy. It's key collection day. Watch them again. Do you know what? I'm gonna prop the camera up. I feel like it's only right for my monthly, ow, <laughs> my monthly movie review. So, as you guys can probably tell by this vlog, it's been really hectic, but it was really nice the other day to just like take a day because I don't think I would have been able to do any of this move so far without having that little bit of time off. And during my time off, I made some nice food, but I also watched a movie on Sky Cinema called Uncharted. You guys probably know by now I'm part of the Sky Cinema Club, and I've been absolutely loving watching a big range of movies, some of which maybe I wouldn't always choose. And I think that's good for me because I'm really like a creature of habit, so I'll just like watch horror all the time, or like true crime all the time. And I feel like I'm missing out a lot. So this month I watched Uncharted. It's starring Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, amongst other amazing actors. Basically, the story goes so there's a character called nathan who's recruited by another character called sully to help find this like 500 year old treasure and they have to like uncover all these clues to get to where the treasure is and along the way they come into competition with Magellan I think somebody else basically who is trying to find this treasure and it becomes a big race to see who can get there first basically and yeah it is like I said I Probably wouldn't usually choose it, although because Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg are in it, I probably would have watched it because I think they're both great and they were amazing in this. It really took me back to like movies that I used to watch back when I was younger. Um, it kind of had like Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean vibes, but like a bit more modern. And I properly loved it like it was such a feel-good movie and there was really tense moments and it was like i don't know who to trust who's gonna like find the treasure first it was really good and also the like action scenes were incredible i had to google whether tom holland did his own stunts or not because it was just so believable and i know that he does some of his own stunts and i think he did do some of them in the movie but i know that also he did have some stunt doubles but the action scenes were so good they were so believable and um, they were just really enjoyable to watch it was really nice to watch something that kind of took me out of like my head or out of the kind of stuff that i usually watch yeah i really enjoyed it i really really enjoyed it and it's got me wanting to watch like some of the old school movies again some of the throwbacks that i haven't seen in a while the classics it was a really great like modern twist on the kind of classics i used to watch when i was younger so if you have not seen it, I would 100% recommend. Tom Holland is great in it. He's just such a good actor, isn't he? So good. Right, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm delirious. I'm gonna go home and um, carry on back in. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, I don't think I have. Obviously, I'm in the new flat. I wanted to show you guys an empty flat tour. Unfortunately, when we first arrived here, they hadn't switched up, basically, we viewed a different flat to this one. It's basically exactly the same, it's just on a higher floor, but it was like the showroom flat. And so we asked for it unfurnished apart from the sofa and the TV stand. And when we walked into our actual apartment the day we got the keys, the sofa was different and we didn't like it. The coffee table and one of the bedside tables was still here, which we didn't want. And also the coffee table was different and it was not as nice as the one in the showroom so that was even more kind of annoying and then they left like some random lampshade that was also different from the showroom and really just not the vibe it was not the vibe they still haven't switched it out so i can't i don't want to show you the flat right now because it just doesn't it's not giving 
<laughs> it's not the flat that we saw. Um, so I think they're gonna switch out our sofa. Also the flat was kind of dirty, like the kitchen definitely hadn't been cleaned properly. So yeah, we're just waiting for that to get sorted. Um, unfortunately, by the time it's done, we're gonna have all our boxes in here, so I won't be able to give you guys an empty flat tour. But once we've unpacked all the boxes, I will give you guys a flat tour. Pinky promise. And also stay tuned for an empty flat tour of my previous flat at the end of this vlog. Okay, I'm going, I'm exhausted. I hope you guys are liking the vlog so far. I'm so excited to be here. Aside from the disappointment upon walking into the flat, we're just so excited. It's it's so nice. It's got so much more character. I'm so happy that the walls aren't all white. We get direct sunlight. I've never been to New York. I've watched many New York vlogs and films. It's giving me New York vibes and I'm so here for it. I freaking love it. All right, I'm off. See you pro probably tomorrow. I don't know. It's hectic at the moment. <laughs> Bye. It's a rainbow! Ugh. Where's my double rainbow? Huh? £75 this cost me for 20 boxes. You got my doff, mate. My doff, mate. Bubble wrap. I know I could just go to like shops and take their old boxes, but firstly, I don't have a car. Secondly, it's far. Thirdly, we have zero time. It is what it is. Oh, I can't even put these anywhere because this dog. This dog is relentless. <laughs> Behave yourself. we made it <laughs> that's pretty much all of our stuff look at the view it feels like we're in new york baby right basically i've got a casper bed for bronson and i want to set that up for him before we bring him over here just so he's got a cozy space whilst we're doing stuff and a new fresh bed i'm gonna do that real quick now Welcome to the flat, guys. <laughs> you walk in the front door, 
got a utility cupboard here very nice lots of room you guys saw all of my clothes stacked in there to the left we've got the main big bathroom with a shower and a bath hello storage everywhere it's so nice and it's got these really cool lights here so you can have like moody lighting and stuff and then straight ahead from the front door is the spare bedroom which looks like this unfortunately it was furnished not i didn't love it but yeah there's a cupboard cool view big bed two bedside tables to the right is the living room which is lovely you've got a massive kitchen i'm gonna miss the wine fridge and the big kitchen i can't lie that's the main living room and then to the left of the hallway past the bathroom was our bedroom which was massive and then that little bathroom that you guys would always see me in because I know I didn't really like the big main bathroom as much. So yeah, that's the empty flat door, guys. Oh, the mirror's a bit dirty. <laughs> For those of you guys wondering, this building is the Anaconda Cut building. Super nice. I would not recommend living in a north-facing flat though because it's just really flat, like cold lighting all day. It's like even lighting, which is like great for filming and stuff, but it just felt very clinical um so make sure you get like a west east or south facing building uh flat if you're going to move here but the flats are really good the two beds are pretty pretty good size as well i think this is definitely bigger than the one we've moved into um and cheaper and the flats gets more expensive the higher up you go basically so if you're lower down uh it's probably even more affordable i hope you enjoyed i'm exhausted i'm gonna go home i've got to edit a video and I'm going out tonight to go see Hiatus Coyote, which I cannot believe is happening. I'm so excited. So I need to get my shit together, basically. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> so this was the sleeping situation last night. But to be honest, anything was better than the bed in that flat. It was the most comfortable sleep ever. This guy. <laughs> Whilst I edit a video and get ready, is going to start building the bed. So I'm gonna give you a little time up for that because I am not showing you guys what I look like right now. <laughs> so good that's gonna have to be it for today's vlog because as you guys can see there's a lot of shit to deal with behind me but also i'm going out tonight i've got about an hour and a bit until i need to be ready i still gotta edit some more of this vlog i've edited most of it though um i think it's long enough i know you guys like the long vlogs i hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you did if you made it this far let's do let's do the city skyline emoji yeah i'm feeling super grateful so happy so much more like at home and at peace already even though the flat still looks like this which is a good sign so yeah stay tuned for the continuation of the moving vlogs the next few the next couple of days so tonight going out tomorrow going to london uh i don't think we're doing anything on friday anymore so i'll probably start unpacking and all of that good stuff on friday i really really want to get some like october house stuff you know like halloween stuff i do have a few bits and bobs new bits and bobs to share with you guys as well so i'm excited to do that once i've got time and once i've recuperated i just need to sleep for like a solid week and i'll be good <laughs> oh god the sky looks amazing right now thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys all in the next video until next time bye Mwah. <laughs>